Hello everyone. We hope you're having an amazing day today. As we are almost at the end of September, we can finally empty our weekly schedule to make space for the new Heartland episodes. This is a routine for us at this point as we have been watching this series for the past 16 years. Since 2007, the series has been a part of our lives to the point that we can claim it's one of the reasons why fall is our favorite season of the entire year. Now that season 16 will premiere on October 2, we collect every single bit of information regarding the new season, trying to avoid any shocking news that will ruin the Heartland experience for us, just like it did back in season 14. In season 14, one of our most beloved characters got killed off in the very first episode of the show, and we are still struggling to overcome it. Ty Borden was one of the main characters of the series, a lover of our protagonist, and an overall highly lovable person that was the reason for many to watch the show in the first place. Naturally, his death was far from being a smooth process for the series. Many stopped watching Heartland while others proceeded with extreme caution, as they could no longer trust the show in terms of the well-being of the beloved characters. Even Amber Marshall, who plays the part of Amy, admitted that the two years after Ty's death was extremely dark. Season 14 was very depressing, Marshall said and continued. I have to say, there's an event that happens which I'm sure you're aware of that just shattered the Heartland family. And it kind of tore us up a little bit too, because this is a character that's been with all of us for 14 years, 13 years. And then 15, I felt just a sigh of relief. Because it was like, okay, so we've done that season. It's done. Let's start moving forward. Let's start bringing that light back. Because I think that's what people really like about the show is that they can sit down and they can watch it and just feel contentment. For Marshall, season 16 will be even more chill than season 15, as it will overcome Ty's death completely and witness the characters moving on with their lives. And then 16, which we're now just filming, has been just so much fun. It's been one of those it's like, okay, so now we're two years out of the darkness, and now all the characters are really starting to just find themselves again. I had a lot of fun. And it's also been really beautiful weather and we've just, it feels like we're kind of back to that Heartland that I think we all know and love, she expressed. Based on the recently released Heartland trailer, we can claim that what Marshall was referring to when saying going back to normal was her character Amy replacing Ty with another man. In the trailer, we saw a bunch of details that made us excited for the new season. For instance, we saw Lou and Katie involved in a fight as Katie despises her mother's control over her life. Then Lindy jumps in front of a running horse, trying to stop it. She probably tries to mimic her mother's actions, which eventually puts her in danger as she is far from being trained at this point. But we believe such a scene would lead Amy to train her daughter regarding the horses, and by doing so, make sure that she is safer on the ranch. Apparently, Lou's assistant adopts a kid while Tim's son returns, which forces Tim to be a better father. But one scene that made us shook was seeing Amy kissing a man other than Ty. By this point, we're not surprised that she has a new love interest as season 15 has already introduced us to Finn. But when we saw them kissing, we couldn't help but feel both sad and cringe at the same time as we are so used to seeing her with Ty Borden. It felt like cheating to us despite very well knowing that she has every right to move on as a young woman. We believe this romance storyline will cause a massive controversy in the fandom, and we cannot wait to explore what will happen next in Amy's life. Are you disappointed to see Amy with a new man? Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.